Hey there, I'm Mike, and this is Marvel Champions, and my first playthrough on the channel, I'll be playing as Storm against Rhino. Because this is my first video on the channel, I will be explaining things a little bit more in case you don't know how to play, but there are tons of great rules videos and lots of guys who know how to play this game much more than me if you're looking for strategy like D20 woodworking, or Dale the Casual Gamer. I do wanna go over how I have things set up. First off, all of this acrylic is from by the same token. I have all my health and threat tokens, my side scheme, main scheme board, my player board specific for X-Men. I think I'll be having my discard up here, the hero deck here. I'll be putting my cards in play over here. This won't always be out. And then this is my hand. I think I'll be able to zoom in easy and post this way. We'll see how it goes. I might change things up. Let me know what you think. So like I said, this is my hand. This is Storm. Basically, she gets to use her weather deck, which is right here, unique to her. So when she flips to her hero side, she can basically change up the weather and she gets to do the special ability, whatever's on these, like she's a non-elite minion until the end of the round. Treat the minion's text box as if it were blank. And then there's ongoing things that happen. Like this one, the specials draw a card. Deal two damage, remove two threats. So they're pretty um, pretty good in different situations. The other side of Storm, she has a hand size of five. She has 10 hit points. Uh, she can swap her weather support, what I was just talking about, and then resolve the special. This one just uh, I feel a storm coming set up choose a support from the weather deck and put it into play so I did uh, You can look through them. So there's they're all up right now um, And I begin the game with the weather deck. This is my hand. I Do start with six cards. I'm thinking right now. I want to get rid of my two flash freezes and my high cost havoc I want to be able to get a lot of cards out. I guess I'll have my discard right here And I get to draw three. I have uncanny x-men the leadership skill and a lightning bolt. For my starting hand, I have the X Jet, which will let me get a resource. I have Uncanny X Men. It's a support that will basically let everyone with the X Men get plus one hit point. I have the leadership skill with uh, three leadership counters. Basically, anytime I thwart or attack, I get to do plus one to those for three times. A lightning bolt, which is eight damage, and then. If Thunderstorm is in play, it's not, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put it in play when I flip to Storm, I get to resolve the special ability. Uh, strength, just two resources, notice the X-Men art. There's some kind of copyright where they can't use other Marvel things with them for X-Men and Sony. So I think that's why we happen to get new art, not like I have a million of the others. And then Mirage, I'll, I like Mirage. Uh, I'm able to possibly stun pretty cheap ally. This is a leadership leadership deck, <clears throat> excuse me. So I do need some allies. Here is Rhino up here. He has, I'm playing on normal difficulty, so I'm starting at level one. He has 14 hit points. And then here is the main scheme, the break-in. Rhino is trying to smash through the facility wall and steal a shipment of vibranium. You must stop him. So if this is completed, if it gets to seven threat, Per person, just one, so seven, I lose. He gets one threat per round. I think first and foremost, I'm going to pay Uncanny X-Men and Strength. So this will give me my three resources that I need, one, two, three, to put the X-Jet into play. So that's gonna give me a resource. I guess I'll keep them down here, I don't know. Yeah, I'll keep it here. And if I get an enemy, this it'll just also be here. So that's gonna give me a resource whenever I exhaust it as needed. So I'm gonna probably end up just lightning bolt uh, his face. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm flipping. So now I'm going to use my ability and swap to thunderstorm. And then I get to resolve the special ability so I get to deal two damage to an enemy. Surprise, surprise, it's gonna be Rhino. Now I'm going to exhaust the X-Jet. 
and then I'm going to discard leadership skill and mirage so for one, two, three resources. I can now play lightning bolt for eight damage, and then I can resolve it. I can resolve fun, thunderstorm special ability, so that's really ten damage. And finally, I'm going to just exhaust storm hand attack for two. So look at that. Round one, you done. So he's gonna flip to round two, which is not as great, not round two, but level two, because he does attack for one more, and then when revealed, I search the encounter deck and discard pile for the break in and take in side scheme and reveal it, shuffle the encounter deck. So I'll do that. All right, so here's break in and take in. Rhino is breaking things and taking them. Surprise, surprise. When revealed, place an additional one threat here, and I draw an extra encounter card. Uh, Hazard Icon, deal one encounter card during the villain phase. So this is kind of explaining what everything does still. That's nice. This is a side scheme. So there we go. It starts with two threat. All right, so that's all taken care of. All my cards, nope, they don't ready up yet. But I do draw up one, two, three, four, five. Wait, they do everything does ready up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so now I have two energy. I have gentle. Gentle takes one consequential damage after he attacks the villain. Oh, plus one. All right, so he'll be taking two consequential damage. But he attacks for three. Oh my gosh. Uncanny X Men. Plus one hit point. I have Forge. After Forge enters play, search your deck and discard pile for an X-Men or X-Force support and add it to my hand and endurance. All right, so plus one threats. He is going to attack me. I'm not going to block it because he doesn't hit for too much. I have full health. Uh, yeah, so I'm not going to defend. Three plus. What am I doing? Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's called video brain. Three plus two. So, oops, five. Oh, I need a discard. This is where things get messy. That'll be my discard. My cards and play will be here, I guess. Let's do that. So I'll take my five damage. Basically, he hit me for half my health, <laughs> but that's fine. I have an encounter card. Hydra Mercenary. So now he'll attack me after the... Villain every phase, guard. While this minion is engaged with you, you cannot attack the villain. Here's a little reminder of that. I think I'll discard my energy and use this to get three resources. I'll put gentle into play. Let's put you up here. And then I'll go ahead and attack with gentle. He takes an extra consequential damage, but the mercenary is gone. Now I can attack, oops. This is different from how I typically set up, so bear with me. But now I attack, now I can attack Rhino if I want. Also, I should have cleared these off. He resets his health. Now he's at, I need to do 15 damage. I do think this should be a rest and recoup phase. So I'm going to just put this out. I'll pay for it with this. So I have plus three hit points. I'll keep this. Maybe I'll want an ally for next turn. And then I'll flip over <coughs> to heal three. So now I'm at two. Okay, and that's the end of my turn. Now I get to draw up six, two, another lightning bolt, X mansion, heal one damage from, oh, basically heal one damage if I'm in my alter ego every turn. Another alter ego, exhaust uh, Oro's garden, heal two damage from your identity. Storm's crown, plus one thwarts, exhaust Storm's crown, regenerate a printed resource on your weather support. Oh, the printed resource, okay, okay. Also, I should have switched that up. I should have used my weather again, anyway. And then another leadership skill. 
So let's pretend I did, right? So before flipping, I'm gonna change up the weather and then um, I thought I flipped the hurric to thunderstorm. I don't know. Anyway, let's pretend I went to hurricane and then I'll discard this. This is gone. Then it's Rhino's turn. He has two threat now. He's going to scheme because I'm in my alter ego form. So it's one plus two, one, two. So a total of three. That means two plus three, that's at five now. And these are ready up now. I can attack with him one more time. I can do 10 damage here. I'm gonna go ahead and flip. I'm gonna make this back to Thunderstorm. So two damage to you from my Thunderstorm special. Then I'm gonna attack with Gentle. You're gone now, Gentle, sorry. But he does do three damage. So this is at five now. What else can I do? Let's go ahead and do the lightning bolt. So one resource, two, three, actually two, three. So that is eight plus another two because I'm on my thunderstorm. So another 10 damage. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> I could have also attacked for another two and that's overkill, but Rhino, you're done, son. <laughs> Well, thanks for watching. I made a little bit of mistakes, um, but they were caught, I think. Let me know if they weren't. I'll be doing more for sure. This is one of my favorite games, but we'll see if Video Brain gets in the way. Anyway, thanks for watching.